The skull is a part of the skeletal system. We shall now see the bones that form the skull in an interesting way. Humans have the brain of a genius and we keep it in a jar. A jar? Really? Actually, it is protected within the skull. The skull is a bony structure which forms the head of the skeleton in most vertebrates. The brain which roughly weighs 1.4 kg is protected by several bones which together form the skull. The skull consists of two parts, the neurocranium and the facial skeleton. The brain and the brain stem fit together in the cavity that is formed by the neurocranium. The facial skeleton supports the muscles of the face and the teeth. Except for the mandible, all the bones of the skull are joined together by sutures, which are immovable joints. The human skull consists of 8 cranial bones and 14 facial skeletons, in a total of 22 bones. How do the blood vessels and nerves reach the brain through the skull? Throughout the skull, holes known as foramina form passageway for blood vessels and nerves. The skull consists of bones, occipital bone, pediatric bones, frontal bone, temporal bone, sphenoid bone and ethmoid, as well as the nasal bone, the zygomatic bones, the maxilla and the mandible. The sphenoid and ethmoid bone become visible only when we look inside the skull. The sphenoid bone forms the base of the cranium and is a butterfly shaped bone with a central body and two laterally projecting wings. The ethmoid bone makes a part of the cranial base and the roof of the nasal cap. Thank you for watching this video. Wouldn't it be interesting to teach and learn in this way? Get in touch with us to know more. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for our upcoming videos.